We're doing a sound check too. Really? Yeah. You feel more positive about that? Very, very positive. It's a great, it's going to be something totally different. Hopefully, this will do something for you. You know what I mean? This is shaking. Mm -hmm. if, if, if nothing else, at best, it'll just prove I can show up on the set on time right. and still have an hour to sell five men and be right. doing my shit. Congratulations and still, thank you. And still be pushing this, thank you. And still be doing that. It can show just that, that, we could, that I work hard, if right. nothing else, to right. show why I should not be in jail. Because in a little bit of time that I've been out, I've made these things to show that I don't need to be in jail. Mm -hmm. You know, you can still rehabilitate my ass yeah. right out here, <laughs> you know, with everybody else. Because right. it's the money that rehabilitates me, okay. not the jail. Okay. What about father figures? Like, you don't hear much about it. You speak about your mother a lot, not about your father. Um, you have a relationship with him? Um, I thought my father was dead for, for all my life. Really? Except after I got shot, I looked up and there was this nigga that looked dead on me. And he was my father, so I found out. We still ain't taking no blood test, but I mean, a nigga looked like me, mm -hmm. and then the other nigga's dead. So to me, it's like I'm past the father thing. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. But I, I do want to know him, and I do know him. We right. do talk, and he did help me while I was locked down. And yeah. He did come visit me, and it's all love. But I'm past that. Religion? What religion are you? I'm the religion that, to me, is the realest religion that is. I believe in God. Mm -hmm. I try to pray to God every night as I pass out. Okay. And I think that's, and, I, and to me, religion, my idea of religion is this. I think that if you, I, I got I learned this from jail, because I, I talked to every God there was right. in jail. I think that if you take one one of the O's out of good, it's God. And if you add a D to evil, it's the devil. I think mm -hmm. some cool motherfucker sat down a long time ago and said, let's figure out a way that we can control motherfuckers. And that's what they came up with, is the Bible. Because if God wrote the Bible, I'm sure it would have been a revised copy by now. You know what I mean? Because a lot of shit has changed. And I've been looking for this revised copy, and I don't see it. I still see that same old copy that they had from then. And I'm not disrespecting anybody's religion. Please forgive me if it comes off like that. I'm just stating my opinion. I feel like we get crucified. I mean... The Bible was telling us all these people did this because they suffered this much. That's what makes them special people. Right. I got shot five times. One, two, three, four, five. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, and I got crucified to the media. You know what I mean? And I walked through with the thorns on. And I had shit thrown on me. And I had the, the, the thief at the top. I told that nigga I'd be back for you. You know what I mean? And trust me, this is not supposed to be going down. I'll be back. So I'm not saying I'm Jesus, but I'm saying that we go through that type of thing every day. Yeah. We don't part the Red Sea, but we walk through the hood without getting without getting shot. You know what I mean? We don't turn water to wine, but we turn motherfucking dope dope fiends and dope heads into profitable um, pro productive citizens into society. You know what I mean? We don't do we don't we know we turn money. We turn words into money. You know what I mean? What what greater gift can that be? So I believe God blesses us. I believe God blesses those that hustle, those that use their mind, and those that overall are righteous. I believe that your karma, everything that you do bad comes back to you. So anything that I'm doing that's bad, I'm going to have to suffer for. But in my heart, I think what I'm doing is right. You know what I mean? So I feel like I'm going to heaven. You know what I mean? And I think heaven is just when you sleep, you sleep with a good conscience. You don't have nightmares. And hell is when you sleep, the last thing you see is all the fucked up things you did in your life. And you just see it over and over again. Because you don't burn. Because if, if that's the case, it's hell on earth. Because bullets burn. You know what I mean? It's people that got burned in fires. That means they went to hell already. You know what I mean? All that is here. So what, what else? What do you got there that we ain't seen here? What, you gonna walk around aimlessly, zombie? Nigga, that's here. You ain't been on the streets lately. You know what I mean? What, what heaven is now. Look, we sitting up here in the big screen. It's heaven for the moment. You know what I mean? Hell is jail. I seen that one. Trust me, this is, this is what's real. And all that other shit is to control you. If the churches took half the money that they was making and gave it back to the community, we'd be all right. If they take half the buildings that they use to praise God and gave it to motherfuckers who need God, we be all right. We be all right. Have you seen some of these goddamn churches lately? It's ones that take up the whole block in New York. It's homeless people out here. Why ain't God letting them stay here? Why these niggas got gold ceilings and shit? Why God need gold ceilings to talk to me? Why do God need colored windows to talk to me? Why God can't come where I'm at, where he sent me? If God wanted to talk to me in a pretty spot like that, why the hell he sent me here then? You know what I mean? That that make ghetto kids not believe in God. Why? So that's a wrong religion. I believe in God. I believe God put us wherever we want to be at. Then it makes sense that God will put us in the ghetto. That means he wants us to work hard to get up out of here. That means he's testing us even more. That makes sense. 
It makes sense that if you're good in your heart, then you, you're closer to God. But if you're evil, then you're close to the devil. That makes sense. I see that every day. All that other spooky shit don't make sense. And I don't even believe, I'm not dissing it, but I don't believe in the brothers. I was in jail with them and having conversations. Brothers, I'm God, I'm God. If you God, open the gate for me. Yeah. You know how far the sun is and how far the moon is? How the hell do I pop this fucking gate and get me free up out of here? Then I'll be a five percent of full life. Well, never see it.